Okay. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is the last session of the today. So after this, uh, after this session, so we will have a reception party at the sponsor booth. So I have uh, prepared a demo related this to this session at the uh, AGL sponsor booth. So, so thank you, uh, thank you very much, AGL uh, sponsor uh, community. So if you are interested, uh, you uh, we, uh, sorry, I would like be happy to come to the AGL booth. So anyway, uh, now let's begin the session. So I would like to uh, introduce myself. So my name is Hirotaka Motai. Uh, I have uh, about 20 years uh, of experience in embedded Linux and uh, real-time operating systems. Uh, I specialize in time-sensitive software, uh, performance tuning, and interested in automated testing. So in my company, I'm uh, in charge of the uh, leading project with technical expertise. Uh, the department I belong to is the IoT Engineering uh, Business Unit. We had uh, some Linux kernel and distro developers and uh, make a commercial uh, embedded Linux with, uh, with technical services. Uh, we also work with many cons uh, uh, customers to apply Linux to, to the products and I'm, uh, so I'm also the uh, CIP representative of my company. So anyway, uh, what I would like to talk about uh, here. Uh, first, I will introduce CIP, Civil Infra Infrastructure Platform Project, and AGL, Automotive Grade Linux, as a relevant OSS project. Uh, next is, uh, I will explain the uh, challenges uh, faced in the in this context and present the uh, proposed solutions. After that, I will show the feasibility study to add CIP kernel into AGL because AGL is a code first, and and I would uh, greatly happy to hear any uh, feedback of uh, uh, my activity. So finally, I will summarize of this session. So first, so I'd like to introduce uh, CIP and AGL as bridged version. So CIP is, uh, again, I, I say again, CIP is a civil infra infrastructure platform project. CIP aims to establish an open source base layer for software used in industrial applications. That enables the realize of software components that can be used in industrial infrastructure systems. And CIP is open source Linux based contrib contribution project and it's hosted by the Linux Foundation. Uh, so, civil infrastructures has a un very unique problem. Uh, in this uh, example of power plant control, uh, it's, a, it's an example of power, control, uh, power plant control, sorry. Uh, development time is three to five years and customer facing changes takes uh, one to uh, four years, roughly. Uh, there are supply, supply, supply period uh, of 68 years. Uh, after that, there is uh, 15 years of hardware maintenance. Product lifetime range from 20 to 60s. It's, uh, it is not enough to use uh, survival for a long time. Industrial grade quality is always requested, such as robust, uh, secure, and uh, reliable. To achieve this industrial grade quality, CIP has uh, several uh, collaborative activities. 
So I'd like to introduce some activities. One is a, a super long-term uh, supported kernel development. Uh, the CIP uh, kernel team works it on uh, an upstream fast policy. Uh, kernel team added feature and uh, bug fixes to mainline and LTS kernel. Uh, these commits uh, in included, uh, included in the LTS kernel. So the LTS is used as a base of super long term kernel, term, sorry, super long term support kernel, so SLTS. Uh, any bugs, uh, additional drivers, as for example, if CIP members want uh, that uh, bug port from the latest upstream. So it means uh, uh, we work as on the policy of uh, pre-storing fast. So another activity is testing. Uh, the test uh, working group uses Lava and Kernel CI to test the CIP kernel on, on, around the user round. So we published the result of our test uh, on the Kernel CI website. Uh, CIP has other activities. Uh, please visit uh, CIP website if you want to know. Okay. So all of CIP activities make a layered Linux distribution for industrial products. Uh, so we contribute the uh, related open source project. So CIP developers under the policy of fast, uh, upstream fast. So the result development with upstream uh, used to create an open source space layer. So CIP know that uh, working together with the uh, uh, related community is uh, very important for a long term. So change the pro topics. So I'd like to introduce uh, AGL. Uh, so, but uh, I know uh, main topics of AGL was already talked in today's second keynotes, you, you know? Maybe you know. <laughs> I'm not sure the remains uh, remain to explain it again, but uh, I'd like to let me introduce AJ uh, quickly. So AJ is a, a leading open source automotive software project, and the first target as uh, IBI, and now it also uh, covers SDV and uh, IC. Inter uh, sorry, IC. As uh, same as CRP, it's uh, it's also uh, sorry, it is also an open source uh, Linux based contribution project hosted by Linux Foundation. So AGL uh, consists of layer structure to keep isolation and easy to expand the functions. So an AGL project uses the LTS version of the Linux project to create uh, the UCB unified code base. So UCB board support package consists of various meta layers provided by OSS community or SOC vendors. And uh, if some changes are needed, and they create other layer and include the changes to the new layer. So for uh, I have uh, introduced CIP and AGL. So next is, uh, I would like to explain the challenges I have, to, I have in mind. So requirements for the car software, in vehicle software always uh, as follows. So first, uh, real-time capability. So in vehicle software requires high real time responses. It needs to be able to uh, respond immediately to input, for example, the brake light should uh, eliminate uh, instantly when the brake uh, pushed. So safety, uh, next is safety. Uh, in vehicle software, plays a critical role in driving safety, so it needs to be high reliability. For example, it must 
uh, ensure the ensure the ensure sorry ensure correct timing of uh, airbag and development and accurate uh, brake control to uh, prevent ma malfunctions. So after that, reliability uh, in vehicle software should uh, operate uh, reliability sorry reliability for extended period. <laughs> Uh, malfunctions uh, or crashes can cause significant issue while driving, so st stability is uh, critical. Uh, so next is scalability. In vehicle software, uh, needed to be uh, uh, needed to be able to uh, adapt to uh, ev evolving automotive functionalities. It should support the addition of, of new features and easy accumulate hardware changes. So security is also important. In big software, must be uh, protected against malfunction attack and uh, unauthorized access. Uh, proper security, uh, security measures are essential to prevent uh, un unauthorized control to access to big system and data. <laughs> Uh, a lot of requirements here, and to meet these requirements, uh, in big software OS needed to have high performance, uh, robust design, and optimization for special hardware configuration. So both AGL and CIP use Linux-based operating system speciali uh, specifically designed for use in the in different industries. <laughs> Both uh, AJ and CRP are built on the Linux, which means uh, that they are from the open source and uh, have access to a wide range of open source software and development tools. <laughs> And also, both uh, for both project focuses on uh, providing a robust and reliable operating system, system. Sorry, system that can meet the specific requirements of the uh, this uh, the, the, sorry of the industries. Agile platform is all for automotive applications, and uh, sorry, Agile platform is for automotive platform. Uh, application, sorry. <laughs> it is de designed it for, uh, Shapi is designed it for industry system. So, what happened? <laughs> Can I continue? <laughs> so, both, just a moment. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Both prioritize uh, sa safety, uh, security, and sta stability to ensure the sm s smooth and reliable operation the, of the systems. So they incorporated uh, incorporate features and protocol to uh, protect against it. Uh, sorry. Uh, we. Sorry, where is my pointer? Here. <coughs> no, it's my uh, private pointer, sorry. So, what, where, where am I? Uh, so, but, sorry. Uh, uh, so, 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 they, they incorporate, incorporate features and protocol to uh, protect against the in interaction, prevent system failures, and ensure data integrity. Overall, the common goal of AGL and CIP is to provide industry specific uh, Linux based operating systems that are secure reliable and able to meet the strict requirements of their respective industries. So I believe that uh, combining the strengths 
of both sides may be possible to collaborate. However, I, however, I think it is important to uh, assess the feasibility study of such collaboration before moving forward. So next section is uh, feasibility study. I'd like to show uh, what I have, have done, a simple feasibility study. <laughs> So, as a, as, as a first step, I did a feasibility study of uh, porting the CIP kernel into AJUCB. I would also like to show the detail how to integrate it. Uh, uh, feedback on this activity will be uh, happy to me if possible. <laughs> so, so, so uh, the software and hardware uses for this feasibility study uh, are shown on the slide. UCB is uh, version uh, 16, uh, latest stable, and CIP is 66.1.59, uh, uh, CIP 8. Late. So the latest version is CIP 10, so it's a little bit old. <laughs> And CPU, uh, hardware CPU is x86-64 uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 7. So I used uh, UCB uh, USB storage devices to simplify the uh, development uh, process. And just simple. So as I mentioned before, uh, AGL is based on Yocht project. Uh, we follow the Yocht, Yocht project uh, practice and uh, sorry, I followed the Yocto process pro, uh, project pro, practice, sorry, and added layer uh, accordingly. So I think I, since I'm, I'm working with the kernel, my first consideration was to make change uh, in the BSP layer. AGL BSP layers uh, import uh, community-based meta layer directly, such as Meta Raspberry Pi. So if modification are needed, the uh, jail members uh, made uh, another Meta layer specifically for AGL UCB, such as uh, Meta, Meta Raspberry Pi AGL. So there are separate BSP layers uh, for each board. A change is kernel is uh, all of them was not uh, practical. Uh, therefore, I decided to uh, prepare the CIP layer as, as another meta layer. <laughs> so to prepare the meta layer, uh, uh, meta CIP kernel layer for uh, CIP kernel, I used the command bit bake layers. Uh, this command created a template meta layer named and renamed uh, meta CIP kernel. I'm, uh, so I removed uh, unnecessary uh, sample recipes. After that, I registered the create layer. Uh, it's been a meta CIP kernel layer with uh, a by the uh, bit bake command. And uh, next is uh, recipe. Uh, so Yocto project uh, Pokies has a template layer called meta skeleton that uh, make it easy to write a recipe. For this case, I used the kernel recipe in the skeleton. So first I copied the kernel recipe from meta skeleton to meta CRP kernel. And then I renamed the, uh, sorry, I removed the uh, hello mode. Uh, it's an uh, example of, of a kernel module recipe because I didn't need it. So, and finally I renamed the recipe name from Linux Yoct custom to be uh, point BB to Linux Yoct CIP dot BB. It's, it's, uh, so it's for CIP. So as part of uh, the, ship, the feasibility study, I endured the, the meta CIP kernel layer is not affected by changes in other layers of AGL. To achieve this, we, I, I, I increased the priorities of meta CIP layers. 
uh, pro priority 60 uh, was affected because uh, it's overlapped with uh, another layers. So to increase it, to increase is needed, but that number 61 is not a big thing in, in this case. So I changed the kernel download URL in the template uh, Linux kernel recipe. So and, and changed the version as well, right? So I set the kernel recipe and the version to be used uh, in lo local conf in the build directories. And so generally, it is recommended to set the kernel recipe to uh, uh, sorry, set the kernel recipe and version to be used in machine.config file or uh, the uh, such as a, a BSP layer. Uh, but but uh, in this case, it's feasibility. So due to the test feasibility, so uh, I set uh, these uh, information in local conf uh, file as shown in this slide. So in AGL for the x86-64 architectures, it was necessary to modify the kernel configuration to support AMD CPU, as it might be originally designed it with maybe Intel CPU specifically. So I needed to enable configure, uh, a, sorry, it typo, AG, AMD C, GPU, sorry, it typo. So to, hmm, typo? My script is typed. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, to accomplish this, I used the big bake command to modify the kernel configuration by using the uh, diff config option with bit bake command, uh, fragment, uh, config file is generated. Then I renamed the, the, this file, uh, fragment config file, and added to it to the CIP uh, kernel layer. So finally, I ran AGLUCB on the CIP kernel successfully. Great. I have uh, uh, prepared the demo uh, demo set at AJ sponsor booth. So if you want, would like to see it, please uh, stop by the uh, booth during the upcoming sponsor reception. So additionally, the meta CIP layer it's a sample I created uh, for this uh, for this activity has been public at the following URL. So I've already uh, uploaded uh, my slide on this presentation. So uh, could you check it? Uh, please check it. So it's a. I'd like to. I'd, I I will be happy if you give me a feedback. So if the Shapi kernel or Shapi kernel recipes are imported. What could be the best approach? Is it better to replace individually each community-based kernel in the BSP layer? So, or uh, should I discuss with uh, Yocto project community whether Poki has CIP kernel recipe? Or oh, I'm not sure. The, so next slide about uh, BSP layer. So BSP layer such as SOC vendors layer provides the special, special downstream kernel for the target board. <coughs> so the kernels is included local patches, not in upstream, right? So if we use kernel in long term, the best approach maybe would be the to merge them to upstream. To be honest, maintain downstream kernel individually by each community or some kind of uh, vendors has its uh, limitation eventually. So how much 
How about working together with the CIP connection to collaborate on uh, contribute to upstream? Is it a good solution? <laughs> so anyway, uh, the, it's a uh, last slide. I'd like to wrap up. So I introduced the CIP, Civil Infrastructure Platform Project, and the AGL Automotive Grade Linux Project. The CIP project provides an open source base layer, uh, base layer for industrial equipment. So the AGL project uh, is a leading open source project in, for in vehicle system. Also, the uh, application uh, area may differ uh, both project, uh, but both project has a technical common area such as robustness, uh, security, and reliability. So consideration, uh, considering the potential to, for uh, collaboration between AGL and the CIP, uh, I, took the, uh, I, I took the initial step, uh, the initial step, as uh, so I, uh, I uh, ported the CIP kernel to AGL UCB. So demo is uh, being showcased at AGL booth. So, uh, so last is my outlook. So I'm going to run the Chevy kernel on the AMD uh, ARM architecture uh, reference board. And uh, also I'm going to try to port uh, the base layer uh, confirmed, uh, CIP base layer uh, to confirm the potential, make the potential clear. So that's all. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. Anyway, any questions? Well, no questions. <laughs> any question? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the presentation. So I have a little question about CIP kernel itself. So uh, currently it's 6.1. something, yeah. and uh, the same 6.1 is supported currently as long-term uh, kernel from uh, right. kernel.org, right? Sure. So at this point, is it the same kernel, or it's already differs? I see the point of the different of uh, CIP kernel and uh, LTS kernel, right? So, uh, a little, uh, we, uh, it's, it's, it's contained a little different because uh, CIP member wanna some kind of uh, specific device or device. So we already, we have already ported upstream uh, from uh, the drivers from upstream into CIP because CIP project need member needs a driver so uh, we have a little difference mm -hmm. thank you so uh, okay <laughs> no 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 uh, yes please uh, uh, related to this question uh, the there's a difference with the uh, uh, upstream LDS kernel and the CIP kernel right yeah and the uh, such differ difference is already uh, upstreamed of or course. not? Oh, of course, upstreamed. Already? O already. Yes, thank you. Because uh, uh, can team work on uh, upstream fast policy? Um, yeah, I, ha I have another question about the CIP kernel. So uh, does CAP kind of supports um, architectures other than uh, x86, uh, x uh, for example, some uh, SOCs for uh, embedded use or not? Uh, CIP used a uh, 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 reference board, uh, I mean, uh, uh, reference board has a Intel CPU, X86 uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and 64. <laughs> okay. So, so you, you is it an, uh, your? Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so uh, CIP does not support, for example, ARMS, 
And any comment or question? At this moment, CAP do not provide yoke to lay uh, our service hand, but some SOC vendors such as Renesas provides yoke to lay that uses CAP kernel. So maybe you can integrate CAP kernel by referring to the sales SOC vendors yoke to lay Maybe um, CAP should consider to provide yoke to lay as well. Uh, this is just my opinion. But Mm, good to be point. honest, uh, I have. <laughs> My company have. So CyberTrust provides a uh, Yocto layer for uh, using a CIP kernel <laughs> already. Thank you. Thank you for my, uh, thank you for comment. No. <laughs> okay. Next is a sponsor session. So if you have a, uh, any uh, secret question, <laughs> I would be happy to hear at the uh, round uh, AJ booth with uh, around my demo. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. That's all.